it has become popular uh, in in recent weeks, months. I don't know how long it's been. It's become popular for FPV acro pilots to do these really cool uh, hang time maneuvers where the copter flips upside down. It just seems to sit there forever. And sometimes the pilot will do a, a yaw pirouette or I don't know, all kinds of cool, cool moves where the copter just seems to hang upside down in the air forever. Um, and uh, I happen to be looking right now at a video from uh, Mr. Steele. I picked this video because he posted it recently and I noticed him doing some of these moves. And he doesn't have any music or anything going here. This is just raw FPV video. So we can really hear what he's doing with his motors. I thought it was a good example of, of uh, we could use to illustrate, you know, how these pilots are doing this. Because I've heard people ask, you know, how do you guys get these crazy hang times? Uh, Josh Bixler asked the guys that it, in the interview at the F3 Expo. He even asked, do you, are you guys doing like 3D props where you, you go inverted and the prop spins backwards and pushes the copter up? And the guys, no, that's not what they're doing. The answer to how these guys are getting the crazy hang times that they're getting is that like, uh, you know, you take a, take a baseball and fire it straight to the air out of a pneumatic cannon. How does it get such crazy hang time? Well, you shot it straight up in the air and, you know, it takes a while to come back down again. Uh, you get a, if you've ever had your camera cut out mid-flight and you, you disarm your copter because it's just a lost cause and then you wait to hear the crash and it takes a surprisingly long time doesn't it to hear the crash so i mean gravity you have a second or two maybe before you hit the ground depending on what you're doing at the moment that you cut your motors so the answer to how these guys are getting the hang time is just that gravity doesn't work as fast as we kind of think it does and you can get a lot of hang time several seconds if you do the right thing but the right thing is important so the first thing I would advise if you're going to try to get this kind of hang time maneuvers is you need to be able to drop your motors all the way down to idle reliably. So if you're running motor stop on your copter such that when you drop the throttle all the way down, the motor stops spinning, this is not going to work for you uh, unless you just have very, very good uh, control of the stick where you can drop the throttle but not cut the motors off. So I would suggest I like to just use an idle up switch which prevents the throttle from ever going below min check and i have a video on my channel if you search for idle up on my channel idle up you can find a video describing how to set that up you can also set this up in clean flight by turning off motor stop and using the pid at min throttle setting to uh to make sure that the pid loop keeps running when the stick is all the way down i believe that is the default is to have it set that way so if you haven't changed it you should be all right but these things will allow you to drop your throttle all the way down to the to zero and the copter will still maintain authority now why do you want your copter all the way down to zero because when you're doing these floaty moves you basically want the, the copter to just be a projectile you want it to just be flying through the air like a ball that's been shot out of a cannon not flying through the air like an aircraft that is in sort of control of the direction it's going and there's two reasons for this uh, two main reasons for this one is if you're going to be inverted and the most awesome of these moves involve being inverted you don't want your props pulling you downwards toward the ground because that reduces your hang time right so you need your props to be as idled but they still have to be spinning so that the copter doesn't just tumble out of control the other reason is that when a projectile is thrown it makes a really nice arc through the air and if you toss your copter and then throttle down it will transcribe this really cool nice pretty smooth arc whereas if you're spinning your motors and you're sort of flipping all over the place it's not going to fly straight anymore it's going to pull to the side it's going to pull down it's going to pull up whatever it's not going to look as good so what do you do to get this hang time to make these lovely moves the first thing you do is you throttle up and you throw your copter with the motors of course not with your hands you throw it hard in a direction the ideal thing is to throw it with some vertical velocity so you're going to climb up and over a tree and you want to throttle up more than you need to because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the motor and you need to have enough momentum to carry you through the move and over the obstacle 
So if you would normally fly over a tree and you would throttle up to 60%, you would crest over the top of the tree, you would reduce your motor, go inverted, and then, you know, you fly over. Instead, what you would want to do is you would throttle up to, you know, 80, 85, 90% or 100%. You would cut the motor early. And now gravity is gravity and momentum are just doing their job. Now, at this point, it's very interesting because you have complete freedom once the motors are idle to do whatever you want with the camera. You can turn the copter any direction you want and it will not affect your trajectory because the motors aren't spinning very much. Normally, when you're flying, you, you have to think about what direction you're facing, what direction you're rolling, because you don't want to pull yourself off your flight line and into an obstacle or into the ground. But from the moment you cut the motors, that you could turn any direction you want. As long as you finish the move and you throttle up again before you hit the ground, you're going to be okay. So step one is get a lot of momentum in a direction. Step two is cut the motors all the way down to idle using an idle up switch or a clean flight configuration. And then step three is do whatever awesome moves you want. And then of course, step four is to level out <laughs> and throttle back up again before you hit the ground. But you can practice this just by punching out straight up and then cut the motors and wait. Don't do anything, just stay level and just feel for how much time you have before you come back down again. It's more time than you think. And then go inverted. Go do whatever. So let's take a look at an example from Mr. Steele's video, which I have selected, and I'm going to just play it now. Okay, so that's a per I think it's a really good example of what I was describing. And notice that from the moment he crests the tree, he, he cuts his motors, he goes inverted, and then he just sits there, right? You can kind of hear the props spinning in the breeze, but they're completely idled. And he just sits there and hangs there for a good long time until he decides it's time to turn back over again and, and throttle back up again. Well, there's no real magic here. It's just physics and, and gravity doing their thing. Okay, well, let's watch it again. And of course, and of course, bravery. Bravery and skill, not to take anything away from, from the pilots who do this. Bravery and skill to figure out, you know, the move and to keep the copter upside down as the ground gets closer and closer. But, but that's basically what there is to it. Throttle up hard, get a lot of vertical velocity or, or sort of, you know, diagonal velocity, whatever. Get a lot of velocity and cut the motors and you'll have plenty of time while the copter goes up, turns around, comes down again, falls faster and faster. And then, you know, eventually it'll hit the ground, but you'll pull out before that. Okay, well, I uh, hope that was helpful, and thanks, as always, to, to all of the, the pioneering pilots who are figuring out these new moves for, uh, for people like me to, to copy. <laughs> I'm not going to name any names, because if I picked anybody, I would leave out three other people who are just as important, but uh, I think we all can think of an example of a pilot who's done an awesome move, and we've gone, whoa, <laughs> what, what was that? And, and these inverted hang time moves that have become very popular recently are just one example of that. So... So thanks to everybody who's pushing the envelope. Well, I hope that was helpful. And as always, happy flying.